and it's already August and it is Monday, so let's jump right into some news that might just change the way the rest of your week goes. On Tuesday, September 10th, National Geographic is premiering a new reality show featuring snakes. Except this is pretty much guaranteed not to be one anybody watching this show is going to enjoy. You see, this is featuring snakes and how they're used in church services. And I'm not 100% sure where in the Bible it says they have to freehand venomous snakes to uh, get their point across. And I've always thought it was a very terrible idea. But, uh, yeah, you might want to sit through it and pick it apart like you guys are so good at doing anyway. And now let's talk about Raymond Hoser. Let's not. I think I used that joke the last time we talked about it. Prosecutors have announced that they are dropping 11 charges against Mr. Hoser, stemming from an incident in 2011 where he is, uh seen allowing two venomoid snakes to bite his young daughter. Now you might remember we spoke about this once before and actually in 2012 they apparently decided to strip him of his wildlife demonstrator and control license which he is actually appealing. A four-day hearing has been scheduled to commence on March 31st of next year. And now I save this one for last and that is about the tragedy up in Canada and I'm gonna tell you right now I'm not really gonna go into details about this. I feel like there's far too many untrue details being passed around already but I did feel it very important to hit on this topic and um, kind of the way I feel about the way things are going since then. You see I'm here to uh, I mean I guess basically the the biggest point in this new story is to warn my friends up north and people from all over the world that up until now uh, reptile legislation has primarily been an American problem, but it's really very quickly starting to spiral into an international issue. The Canadian government has already said that they're going to be looking into the, uh, the possibilities or need for uh, tougher restrictions or some kind of regulation up in Canada where this took place. And I'm just here to tell you guys right now, stop, take a deep breath, mix yourself a stiff drink and get organized. Learn from our mistakes. Try to spearhead this thing before it even starts. I know a lot of people up there are already working on it, but it just takes such a massive movement to get anything done. Just get ready right now because it's coming your way and it's coming there fast. And furthermore, one thing I just want to mention about this story is everybody has to keep in mind that every detail is not out yet. I don't know if we'll know every detail ever, but until we do, we need to just kind of think about things before we talk and we have to understand everybody watching this that uh, knows a little bit about snakes knows that um, it is very 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 well possible for the incidents that have been reported to actually have happened the way they're being reported and at the same time it is also very very well possible that it did not happen that way it could go either way at this point I'm just saying until we know until we know for sure we, we just need to keep kind of cool heads about it and um, be careful what we do or say because the world's really watching us right now and uh, the Humane Society has already um, lit the fire at the bottom of the stake, if you will, and so we just need to be careful. We need to use real facts that we know for a fact are true and not just uh, assumptions that of what we think may have happened. And that, my friends, has been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more about these stories, that link's right down below here in the description and as always if you're still watching my name is Jason White now you know what's going on in the reptile world be good to each other we'll see you next time